Those honest lyrics, letter to the page, or more often these days, the screen, with articles appearing in the likes of Rookie, Pitchfork, The Guardian, ID, and The Hairpin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Meredith Graves. Lovely to meet you. Hello. Hello. Meredith, it's an honor to have you on the show. Greg, Greg. Big Meredith. fans of you and your all you do. Thank yes. you. Uh, Welcome. While we're not a, a hardcore punk listeners, we no. did uh, pop in the CD of Perfect Pussy. And uh, <laughs> it, it was a, a, a change from a, our typical, uh, uh, yes. But, uh, I, but it I, was thrilling. It, it was, was absolutely truly thrilling. thrilling. Yes. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. A far cry from uh, our, our typical Joni Mitchell uh, uh, Tuesday mornings. <laughs> or our Lin's, Linda Randstad Wednesday mornings. It was Linda today. It was. <laughs> Where does oh. the time go? <laughs> Define what being a woman in music is like. <laughs> it feels as if I've been waiting my whole life for a man to ask me that question. Happy to ask them. And now, now that it's here, now that I'm here in this moment with you, mm -hmm. I, I have terrible cramps right now. <laughs> Absolutely ear splitting like, like an elephant is beating a cymbal with a cinder block deep in the recesses of my uterus. Ooh. And I feel the unceasing pain experienced generations and generations back, all of womanhood beating pots and pans against their faces through history and time. To be a woman in music is to join that daisy chain of all the proud mothers and sisters who came before me and also felt the screaming wolves of uterine fear. <laughs> I've got a similar feeling in my back. <laughs> I get cramps in my legs and my doctor says I should just eat more bananas. 